Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got my morning espresso. Let's get into what dividend investing is all about and why I love it. Stick around. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. Thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. Now sitting at over 7,600 plus subscribers. That is incredible. Thank you so much to all of you. I really appreciate it. If you're new, please make sure you hit that like button because it really helps the algorithm and consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you do, turn on that little bell notification because I love doing these videos on a regular basis, documenting my journey with investing, be it through cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, all kinds of business stuff and building financial freedom for the future. I've had my morning espresso. I'm just going to finish it off really helps when talking about investing. Um, little disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. I do these videos for fun to document my journey with investing. So please do your own research and due diligence. Jump on the internet, uh, use Google, Twitter, Reddit, Medium, get familiar with uh, all of this uh, stuff before investing and uh, be very careful. I only personally invest what I can afford to lose. So for crashes, I'm not worried and I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt. So please be careful out there and do your own research before you jump into any of this stuff. All right. So today's video is going to be about dividend investing in particular, why I love it, why I started doing it, the reason why I do it, and why I continue to do it. Um, you know, this is one of the things that uh, it can truly build passive income for your future, and it's incredible to watch money grow. And I mean that in the most logical sense uh, ever. It's the most incredible thing to see watching your money grow and work for you, and you not work for money. Um, I'm going to show you a quick post that I made up on the community tab here and a great place to talk to all of you, by the way. So you can see here my portfolio when I started using Stake. Um, this is the Australian um, US Stock Exchange um, application, a brokerage that I use in Australia. There's a link below in the description if you want to start if you're in Australia. If you use that, we can get a stock in Dropbox, GoPro or Nike. Just wanted to say thank you to all of those people that used the link. Um, I'm now sitting at over oh, just 15 shares of uh, GoPro, so thank you very much. I have got some in Dropbox now. I'm waiting for one in Nike, so hopefully that comes past. But uh, these are not dividend stocks. I know Nike is, but uh, it's very hard to get with this uh, referral code, but you never know. Um, so this is what I started out with in stake, $343.88 USD. I deposited $500 into this when I first started getting into dividend investing uh, using stake, and uh, I've been continuing uh, around about a hundred plus dollars every single week since 2019 and uh, it's been an incredible journey to watch what dividends actually can do and the power of compounding and adding those dividends now I'm going to get into a little article here what dividend what is dividend income this is a Forbes article and I'm going to read this just quickly so when publicly traded company generates profits it has three choices for using uh, the the cash it can direct funds into research and development such as you know Apple you know, they, they are a tech company, they need to develop the technology and build that company up to a point where they just need to keep, you know, reinventing technology. This is one where they can reinvest those profits. Um, it can direct the funds into research and development. It can save the money or it can return the profits to shareholders as dividend payments. So a dividend is essentially a cash payment that gets paid out to the shareholders. When you buy a share of Apple, ExxonMobil, uh, AT&T, Chevron, um, Home Depot, these companies pay dividends every quarter um, to their shareholders because they're generating so much revenue and profit that they are rewarding their shareholders every quarter, that's four times a year, um, with a cash payment uh, by holding that stock. A dividend income is a bit like earning interest from the bank in exchange from holding your money in a savings account. If you own a share of a stock that is valued at $100, a 5% annual dividend yield means the company will pay you $5 each year in dividend income. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's the only true form of passive income, guys. It really is. Um, and uh, I can sh clearly show you here, my portfolio is sitting at currently today, as of you know last night, the trading session is $24,953.90 USD. Now this has taken a few years. This is nothing that takes overnight. It's not like cryptos. It really is not going to happen overnight. This is a long-term goal, and uh, you can truly see the power of compounding. What I mean by compounding is 
the, the more you reinvest those dividends, you get the benefit of a stock price going up in value, such as Apple. It's going up in value over the three years. Now, I'm going to, I've got three shares of Apple right now. I'm going to show you the three-year chart. You can see the chart here. It's The price is $125.90 USD. Now, had you bought this stock in 2019, they do reinvest dividends, but they are a low paying dividend yield. So they only pay you a small amount because they are reinvesting those dividends, uh, those profits into the technology back into the company. So if you had bought this um, in 2019, you would have paid $39 for this stock. Had you have kept on investing in this, you would get the benefit of the dividend coming in every single quarter and you would have got the uh, appreciation in the stock price, which is now sitting at $125. This is the power of how dividend investing, you're not only getting the benefit of a, a, the price of the stock going up in value, but you're also getting paid a dividend, a cash payment every quarter uh, to hold the stock in that company. Now, there are a couple of options with regards to you know what you do with this cash payment. Um, the best alternative that I personally do is reinvest those dividends to grow this portfolio a lot faster. Some people, are, you know, I'm 32 years old at the moment, and there are a lot of people out there that uh, are you know older and they need to use those cash payments. Now, hopefully, when I get to that age, this portfolio will be a lot larger, and I can take those dividends and I can live off those dividends. That's what some people actually do, and that's the end goal because you don't have to work for money. You can literally live off these dividends and that is the dream that's why everyone loves dividend investing and building these portfolios because they can eventually live off those dividends in the future and that's what i intend to do and uh, help supplement and support my life in the future as well and family and whatnot it really will help and it's incredible to see the power of dividend investing as well obviously with dividends you do get taxed uh, when you're withdrawing those funds and also when you get paid a dividend you have to declare that on your tax uh, return at the end of the year financial year sorry um, you do pay tax on dividends i know in australia using stake we get taxed 15 percent on dividends uh, that come into the brokerage account here and i'll show you that in a second uh, that's just the way it is i know it's a lot higher for u.s residents i believe it's 33 percent but in australia because we're not u.s citizens we still get charged the tax over there uh, we get charged 15 percent also you would need to pay a tax on your income as dividends are part of your income as well so you would need to declare that on your tax return as well so you can see my portfolio is sitting at twenty four thousand nine hundred fifty three dollars and ninety cents usd on the day i've had a return of 1.52 percent 373 dollars and in total i've had a, a return of 36.23 percent six thousand six hundred thirty six dollars in total returns that's based on my investment there that is incredible you would never get that in a bank 36 percent return Obviously, throughout 2020, I invested throughout the the pandemic, which uh, obviously this, there was a huge crash in the market, and uh, I chose to invest and continue to invest all throughout 2020, and I've benefited from that because the prices of stocks were dramatically dropped, including oil as well. Um, so some of the key companies that I personally like to invest in for dividend, dividend stocks are the following. My biggest holding is ExxonMobil. So I'm going to show you this right now. So ExxonMobil... Uh, has $61.05 a share. It is down on the day today. I've got 79 shares of ExxonMobil. I've had a total return of $1,221 in my investment, 33.36%. Uh, I've got equity of $4,881 USD in ExxonMobil, which uh, obviously they do you know, fossil fuels and oils and, and lubricants and stuff like that. They have a dividend yield of 5.66%. So it'll pay me $5.66 a year to hold this particular stock. And uh, the dividend yield, sorry, uh, between, I choose to invest in dividend yields that have around, um, you know, two to 5% in that range. Anything higher than that, such as, you know, for example, I'll go to this particular stock here, Prospect Capital. Uh, this is a risky investment here. They're sitting at $9.14. I've got 104 shares of this. It is a monthly dividend payer, so they pay you every single month at the end of the month uh, to hold this particular stock. I've had an 86% return, which is incredible. I didn't expect that. $444. Uh, it has a dividend yield of 8%, which is extremely high. When, they, when a company has a high dividend yield like this, there is a risk uh, that is associated with this because they can cut the dividend because the company is not making... Uh, enough headway with their business they're not growing their business so in order to you know reinvest those uh, you know 
dividends back into the company. They need to do that in order to grow the company. They can cut the dividend instead of paying it to the shareholders because they need that for their business to survive. So that can happen in dividend investing. So this is the reason why you need diversification across all sectors, you know, with consumer staples, energy, um, uh, consumer discretionary energies, all kinds of sectors in the market here to diversify. If a, if a company cuts its dividend, you're not going to be concerned. So this is very important as well. You need to consider, you know, the dividend yields is a very important factor. I choose personally to go with uh, dividend yields that are around two to 5%. So the companies that I'm invested in are ExxonMobil. This is the big one. Uh, the other one is O Realty as well, uh, which is a real estate investment trust. This is a REIT. Uh, it's sitting at $70.35 today. 22 shares of O Realty. It has a, had a return of 17%, $228. It has a dividend yield of 4%, which is great because it's between the 2 and 5% dividend yield. And when you're investing in this, you're investing in real estate as well. And this is one thing I need to make clear is that you need to be familiar with what you're investing in. Don't invest in something that you don't understand. It's very simple strategy. Uh, you know, you invest in what you understand like Coca-Cola. Everyone knows who Coca-Cola is. I did buy more shares of Coca-Cola last night. You know, this is one of these companies that everyone is going to need, um, you know, in the future or not need, but everyone is going to be buying Coca-Cola in the future. This is one thing that I personally focus on is investing in companies that I know will generate people are buying it, sorry, and uh, the utility, people are going to use it in the future. So I don't invest in stuff that I don't understand and I don't know of. Right, so that's the most important thing. Um, just to show you the dividends that have um, come in, obviously, if I go to here in my portfolio here and I go to dividends, just to show you what happens with dividends, you know, I've got you know dividends here from PFE, which I believe is uh, Pfizer, I think it is. Uh, it's paid me 21 cents, but you can see the tax that I got 15% there. They take that out of your brokerage account. When you do receive dividend payments, they land in your brokerage account, like for example, stake, and uh, they'll land into your buying power uh, on the app. Um, you know, then you can make a decision whether or not to withdraw those funds if you wish or reinvest them to grow your portfolio further. But that's what I'm personally doing. You can see all the companies here, VCL, uh, VCLT, 35 cents, WFC dividend, LEND, 9 cents, GAIN uh, G -A -I -N dividend of 70 cents, WRK, 6 cents, SJR dividend, PGX. These are all the dividends that you get paid for holding these companies. Now, the other alternative to dividend investing is you can buy an index fund or an ETF. These are essentially like a bag, think of it like a bag of stocks, um, like a lot of companies, uh, an index fund is essentially the S&P 500, which are the top 500 companies in the US stock market. You can buy an index fund such as VOO. This is one here is a great one to diversify uh, your investment. Essentially, you're buying 500 companies when you're investing into uh, you know, this particular stock. So you're buying 500 companies this does pay a dividend. It is not a huge dividend. It pays 1.39%, um, which is not high. It's very low, but it has a lot of room for growth. And if you go to the three-year chart, you can see that dr dramatic rise there in value, which is incredible because not only are you getting the value of the, the stock going up in price, but you're also getting the benefit of dividend income as well coming in every quarter. So you can see here, had you bought this stock in 2019, if I can keep it steady there, $227.00. And you can see the price just steadily rising. And obviously that drop in 2020, when I, as I said, the stock market just crashed and everything just dropped, you could have bought down there and you could have seen the benefit there of that return, which is incredible. I currently have 0.69 shares of this because it is quite expensive. I've had a 32% return of $66, which is awesome. And again, it's got a dividend yield of 1.39%, which is great for growth if that's something you want to do. Um, you know, in terms of uh, a low dividend yield, but uh, the, the growth is going to be a lot higher as opposed to a high dividend yield paying company such as AT&T, for example, or Prospect Capital. If we go to AT&T, I've got tw uh, a few shares of this. I've got 24 shares of AT&T sitting at $29.08. It has a dividend yield of 7.11%, which is quite high. Um, however, this company is a tech company. They generate a lot of revenue and they pay an awesome dividend every single quarter as well. So that's the basics of dividend investing, what it is. You know, obviously you need to be aware of um, an ex-dividend date. Now what that means is a company, um, you need to own that particular stock before the ex-dividend date. 
um, a company will announce a dividend is going to be paid. The ex-dividend date is when you actually need to own that particular company um, before you can be on the books. And then once you own that company before the ex-dividend date, you are then able to receive that dividend payment when it is paid out a few uh, months later or a couple of weeks later after the announcement date and that ex-dividend date. So it's very important you get familiar with those dates and I'll show you a cool way to track that. I use this app called Div Tracker. It is available in the App Store. Uh, it's just called Div Tracker. I'm not associated with these guys at all. I just found this because it's an incredible app. Um, and I wanted something that was in my pocket, not having to use a website like Simply Safe Dividends, which is really expensive. They want like three or $400 USD a year to subscribe to that. Yes, it's a great website, but it's very expensive and they don't offer any monthly subscriptions, which is really annoying. So I came across this and I've been using this ever since. So you can see that my annual dividends uh, from my investments in my portfolio is generating me $1,049.54 a year. Now, this did increase by $39 odd last night uh, because I did purchase some stocks last night. And I'll just quickly show you this. I bought Procter & Gamble, um, who you know manufacture soaps and you know consumer staples and stuff like that, like toothpaste, all these deodorants, all that kind of stuff. Exxon Mobil, I bought again in this because it has generated me an incredible return on my investment. They obviously are fossil fuels like petrol, you know, oils, lubricants, and all that stuff. Apple, I bought more uh, shares of Apple as well um, because it's a tech company and they have incredible growth in stock price and they also pay a very low dividend, but it is going to benefit over long term. So I'm invested in that. AT&T, of course, I love AT&T because they pay an incredible dividend yield tech company and they've done a lot of deals at the moment with HBO and Discoveries, which is really cool. And Coca-Cola, everyone knows who Coca-Cola is. This is a solid investment for the future. Everyone is going to buy Coke and drink Coke in the future. So it's one of these companies that's going to be around for a very long time and it ain't going anywhere. And uh, it's one of these companies which I know and love and uh, I will invest in and get those dividends every single month, oh, sorry, every quarter. GoPro, again, I've got the free stock. So thank you very much. I appreciate that person who signed up. So you can see here, by me investing last night, I increased my dividends every year by $39, which is awesome. I'm now sitting at $1,049 a year. I generate $87 a month, completely passive from my dividend investments. I get $2.88 a day. Uh, and uh, the average yield, the dividend yield across my entire portfolio is around 4.42% which is really good as well. So today I'm due to receive a dividend from Johnson & Johnson, and uh, they are obviously in the medical field and they do a lot of you know soaps and all that kind of stuff. It's you know one of these dividend companies that's gonna be around for a long time as well. I'm due to receive 43 cents from them today. VLO, I'm due to receive 16 cents. Now VLO, just to refresh my memory because I'm invested in so much because I've diversified my investments um, to receive dividends as often as I can. VLO Valerio uh, Energy Corp. So this is an energy company as well. Uh, I'm due to receive uh, 16 cents from them today. So they are going to pay me a dividend today and it will arrive in my brokerage account in two days, which is awesome. So my top dividend payers are uh, ExxonMobil. I'm receiving $359 a year from them. SPHD is an ETF. So SPHD is like an index fund or an ETF, sorry that in, uh, only selects the top 50 companies in the S&P 500 that pay dividends. So it's the top 50 companies in the S&P 500. That's the ETF. So when you're buying this, you're buying 50 companies. So you're diversifying across uh, the uh, S&P 500. It pays me $100 a year. Prospect Capital is a risky one, but it's a finance company. It pays me $97 a year. O Realty is a real estate investment trust. So you're buying real estate, mainly commercial properties. There's a lot this company actually holds and it pays me $81 a year. And this pays monthly, so as well as Prospect Capital. They both pay monthly. So at the end of the month, I get paid, which is awesome. EPD is the a gas company that pays me $80 a year. AT&T is $65 telecommunications. VYM is another index fund, a high dividend yielding uh, ETF, uh, sorry, uh, index fund. So the S&P 500, but they invest in the highest dividend yield companies. That pays me $53. AG&C is $23. Main Street Capital is finance. It pays me $18 a year. Stag pays me $18 a year. Philip Morris is tobacco, pays me $18. PBA is a Pembina Pipeline Corporation. Gas. Uh, energy sector is $13 and GAIN is an uh, investment company as well. It pays me $10. I can go through my entire portfolio here, but you can see all the dividends that I'm earning every year from these investments. And uh, hopefully this continues to grow very fast. 
So let's have a look here. The annual dividend goal that I've got set for myself is $3,000 a year. I've finally hit over $1,000, which is awesome. 35% of my goal has been reached with that $1,049 a year. And uh, you can scroll down here. 35% of my dividends are from energy minerals companies. And dividends receivable this month uh, in, uh, what are we in June? Um, I'm due to receive $119 in dividends, which is really cool as well. So you can see here my portfolio is now sitting at $32,221 AUD. Now that's Australian dollars. The value here in stake is in US dollars. So that's the big difference there in Australian to US dollars, uh, 32,000 AUD, which is really cool. You can see my holdings here, all the companies with their logos. Obviously you can see the suspended dividend from AMC. Uh, this is a growth stock as well. This is another form of investing where you buy the stock and, and over time and the value goes up. That's a different stock altogether, such as you know Tesla or Virgin Galactic or Neo. These don't pay dividends. These are another form of div uh, investing, you know, for growth in stock value. And then once that stock value goes up over you know ten or twenty years, then you can choose to sell that and make a profit. And you will have to pay tax on that as well. But uh, these are all the companies here. Walt Disney has suspended its dividend as well. They did pay one, but they've suspended it just because the uh, all the parks are closed because of the current situation. EPR Properties has suspended their dividend. Geo Grip has suspended their dividend. Gap is the clothing brand uh, that's currently working with Kanye West. They have suspended their dividend. Let's scroll down here. This is a really great app, by the way, just to check it out and keep monitoring what's going on. Uh, Exxon Mobil, you can see there, there, that's a $359 a year. This is a really cool chart. This is going to be show you the power of compounding interest um, and uh, growth stock in value and the reinvested dividends. This is going to show you exactly uh, what's going on here. So in the, in the next year, if I don't do any more investing, meaning putting my own money into this and just let it do its own thing, the portfolio just to reinvest, um, it will generate me in one year $25,000 in one year and it will increase my dividends every year to $1,100, which is really cool. Uh, let's have a look here. In 10 years, it will generate $50,000, the portfolio value will be, it will generate me $3,500 a year, which is unbelievable. And my favorite thing to do is go to the 20 year chart. 20 years, it will be worth $160,000 and it will generate me $19,500 a year in passive income. Now that's borderline a standard wage. Um, now thinking about nearly $19,500 coming in every year, um, that's a substantial amount of money every week. I think it works out to be around $300 to $340 a week. Um, that's a lot of money. That can pay a mortgage, that can pay bills, it can pay for food, Netflix, whatever you want. And uh, you can choose to reinvest those dividends and grow this portfolio even more if you wish. But so in 20 years, hopefully this thing, will, I'll have a lot more than $160,000. I'm going to continue to invest as much as I can, as often as I can to grow this. Uh, my goal would at least be to have a million dollar portfolio that would generate about sixty to 70,000 AUD every single year, which is virtually a standard you know, average wage here in Australia anyway. So $60,000 a year, you could easily live off that and not have to worry about working. You can just generate dividends and live off those, which is the dream. Anyway, so that's pretty much how you can keep track of your compounding and uh, the, the growth of dividend investing over time. And uh, this is the monthly income as well. So in June, um, I'm due to receive $119 and $22 is yet to be confirmed by the companies. Um, so if you're going to this, the ex-dividend date, you can see TLT, the ex-dividend date payable on June 7. So that's the, um, the ex-dividend date is uh, June 1st. So that's when you need to own the stock to, in order to get that dividend on the 7th. You can see here IMO, Bank of America, BAC, Bank of America. You've got to own the stock on the ex-dividend date on the 3rd of June in order to receive it on the 25th of June. That's what I mean by the ex-dividend date. So you need to get familiar. If you want to receive those dividends, you need to own the stock before the ex-dividend date. Really um, you know, great way to keep track of the ex-dividend dates on this app. And obviously they announced a dividend is going to be paid um, uh, before the ex-dividend date. And obviously the process goes on from there. So you can see here, I'm due to receive dividends in July, $20.25, so it's not much, about $45. August is 65 cents, uh, has been confirmed. To be confirmed is $75. September is a big one for me. I'm due to receive $141 uh, in dividends, which is awesome. And you can see confirmed and estimated. So these are all estimations at the moment, but the big ones is ExxonMobil. I'm due to receive $89 in dividends that month from ExxonMobil alone. And you can see if you were to have this across all your, like all these uh, companies 
every quarter. Like if you would have received eighty dollars from all of these companies, you can seriously see the power of dividend investing, which is really cool. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. The average is eighty nine dollars a month, which is really cool. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's how what dividend investing is is essentially a company paying their shareholders to hold their stock because of the profits. Some people don't pay dividends. Some people do. It's, they're not obligated to do that. But it's a really cool way to grow your wealth very fast. And uh, it's one of these things where it, you know it takes time and dedication, but you can really see movement the more you invest and the more dedicated you are every single week. All right, so let me know what you think about dividend investing. I've left some stocks below in the description what are great dividend investments, so check them out. But please do your own research and due diligence. Be very careful with this stuff. But um, other than that, dividend stocks are a great way uh, to generate income for yourself for the future. All right, leave your comments below, and I look forward to putting up the next video tomorrow. All right, stay safe out there. Peace, bye.